with Adrian Keteyev, Executive Director of Children's Museum. And this is, uh, where are we and what are we doing here? We're in the park in Sag Harbor and we're having our second uh, kite fly. We did this two years ago, and um, just looking around and seeing the kids is just amazing. Where did you get all these kids from? Because if you're looking around, there are yeah, 300 kids. Yeah, there are 300 kids. We have uh, 10 different schools, and we have. Uh, and what they did was this, these their profiles, and they uh, did kites. They decorated kites, and now they're meeting the people that they, the kids that they decorated the kites for, and it's just an amazing. Um, gathering of these kids and they uh, may, may I ask who actually came up with the idea of creating kites well it was Eva Peterson who did that she came to the Children's Museum with the idea and the minute I heard it I knew it was really something to take hold of so, so kites I, I can see kids are running around with their kites it's here a, it's it's free it's it's the freedom it's the running it's the flying it's la the last time we did it I was standing next to a little boy who had never flown a kite before and it was just, it was such an exhilarating experience for him. And I think that's what this is all about. You know, they, they have the anticipation of meeting the people that they decorated their kites for, and then just being free and running and flying. Do you think that the kids are, are shy decorating a kites for some other kid? I, we haven't experienced that. I think they, it was a challenge for them, you know. I mean, and it's, you know, for us at the museum, we're less a, a, uh, we're about technology than we are about hands-on and interaction. And this is the perfect example. Of Have the kids come to your museum to decorate it? No, no, they do it in their classes. They do it in their classrooms and it's a part of their curriculum. And then, you know, and then there's this day that's a glorious day. Did you decorate your own? No, I don't get to play. <laughs> I'm too old. <laughs> okay, thank you. Enjoy thank your day. You. Thanks so much. Hey, what's, what's your name? Will Mackin. And what are you doing here today? Um, we're flying kites with someone that we don't really know, but we're going to be meeting them. Did you find your friend yet? No. Uh, did you decorate this kite that you're holding in your hand? No. Can you show it to me? Mm -hmm. Wow. And what did you do here? Make this here? No. Did you find your partner yet? Yeah. Where is he? What's your name? Gunner. Who made this beautiful kite? Brendan. Who's Brendan? He is my buddy that I'm going to fly kites with. Do you know where he is? He's over there. Okay, good luck. Billy really did it, and it's good. He has my dog on it and stuff. Yeah. Your dog on it? Did he paint your dog? Yeah. Did he meet your dog before? No. Does it look like your dog? No. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to skateboard too, because I skateboard. Um, mine's um, Paula, and um, she drew a dog on it, and um, some people. Really? Yeah. What dog did she do? Is it your dog? No. Do you think it matched your interest? Kind of. <laughs> What's your name? William. Can, it, can, you show, show, can you show me your kite? Awesome, what is that? It has the whale for Sag Harbor on it and beautiful. Who made this? Uh Charlotte and she's over in the other class and what I did on her kite is I put her three cats on it and I thought she would like that and I also put that there was a lot of stores and trees around. Thank you. Who else do we have here? Hi, what's your name? Max. Can you show me your kite and tell me what it, what's on your kite? It has my family. It has my family. It has a snowman on it. And it has my name on it. Where's your mother? Uh, I don't know. I think right there. And who's that? Probably me. You must have a sister. sister. Yeah, that's my sister. Beautiful. Who else? Hi, what's your name? Kristen. Um, I have a girl named Francesca, and she drew me about world peace. I like that, world peace. And 
but like it was funny because I got um, somebody from a different classroom that my class didn't get. You what? You got? Yeah, from my class. Did you find your partner? Yeah. Where is she? Um, she's in a different classroom. She's from Montauk, and we got like swings. Are you for world peace? today towards making our world a better place by participating in this project. By communicating with one another, you've broken down barriers that might have held you back before. By being open to other people's ideas, you're opening up the possibilities of making positive changes whenever changes to be, need to be made. So congratulations to you all. Now quickly, there are a bunch of people that need to be thanked because this doesn't happen by itself. The Children's Museum of the East End has sponsored this thing and has stood behind it and it's just a great place to be and I hope you all spend a lot of time there. Um, people that work at the Children's Museum have also helped today. Adrian, Mary, Ava, Jamie, Susan, Deidre, Matt, Jackie, Kathy, my husband Greg. Couldn't have done it without you. There, there are also friends here who are participating, but they don't even have kids that are in the third grade. They're just coming because they believe in this project and they believe in the Children's Museum. So for them, thank you so much. Please, a huge hand for everybody. Now listen, everybody. Once you are paired up with your buddy, go fly your kites. Have a wonderful time today. This is all for you, and there are when your teachers say it's okay to eat them, okay? Have fun. Let's have a big hand for Eva. Oh, that's so big. fun yeah it's really <laughs> fun um do you want to say anything um it's fun <laughs> i like it because you can meet people and you can see people that don't go to your school that you know yeah i like that too and um i like my buddy <laughs> i like my buddy too i can't find my buddy right now but i like him <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? It's incredible. It really is. It's the perfect day to fly a kite. It really is the best. We couldn't wish for anything better, really. 
And your name is? Susan Lazarus Riemann from the Children's Museum. And these are all my friends here who are flying kites today. That's great. Could you tell us a little bit about the program? Um, well, what happens is children are paired up with children from other schools, and then they write something about each other, they exchange it, and then they make kites for their buddy. And then today they meet, and they actually get a chance to fly their kites together. And it's a great way for kids to have new pals and also to make friends. That's terrific. So who painted your, who painted your kite? I painted her kite. And who's your partner? I Diana? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It says, go Irish, don't yeah. smoke. And four plus square equals five. Who made that? I did. You did that. And then my mind made this one. Is that a turtle? Yeah. What else is on there? It says, Hold that so it doesn't get to the left again. My name is Lydia, and this is Slut. My buddy's Lila. Lila? Where's Lila? What school is Lila from? Stella Maris. Stella Maris School. Are you having fun flying your kite and meeting your buddy? Yeah. Great. Well, go enjoy the day. My name is Daisy. And who's your buddy, Daisy? I don't have a buddy because yesterday was my first day of school. Oh, well, welcome. Are you enjoying flying a kite today? Yes. I wanted to share that today it's a great day to fly a kite because we have extra wind to fly our kites. Fantastic. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi. Yeah. How high did your kite go? Not very high. How come? Kept on nose diving on the ground. Oh, who was your partner, Chris? Henry, um, I forget his last name. Where is he from? Amagansett. Michelle. Michelle, 
What school is Michelle from? Inside Harbor. Sid Horber. Did you know her before? No. Oh, great. Now you made a new friend, right? Yeah. Hi. Great. Thanks for coming today. What's your name? Evan. And who is your partner, Evan? Dennis. And what school are you from? Stella Maris. And where is your partner from? Sac Harbor Elementary. Sam. Sam. And what school is Sam from? Sag Harbor Elementary. Oh, great. And what, what did you learn about Sam? That he loves baseball and sports. And what did you draw on his kite then? A bunch of sports. Oh, very good. Did you see it flying? Yeah. Great. Well, we're glad you're here. the kite, but it lost. Kite? It's lost. Oh, oh, you lost your kite. Well, that's the fun part of it. And who was your partner? Emily, but she's in Disney. Oh, so you didn't have a partner today. No. Well, next. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Fallon. And Fallon, where are you from? Where's your school? Sag Harbor Elementary. And who was your partner? Sarah. Oh, <laughs> Did you grow up know one another beforehand? No. You just became friends today? Yes. Yes. And what did you learn about each other? She's uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love, uh, she... <laughs> what does she like? Uh, she likes... <laughs> she to likes be to funny, she loves to giggle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's the funniest girl in the class. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I, and I like my... <laughs> Are you guys going to continue to be friends now? Yeah. yeah. We want a piece of paper. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Have fun together. Okay. Love the friendship. What's your name, honey? Paloma. Paloma. And where are you from, Paloma? Stone Marish. And who was your partner? Um, Claire. Claire. You have a partner here today? Mm -hmm. Claire. Claire. And where was Claire from? Sag Harbor Elementary. Oh, that's great. And what did you learn about Claire? Um, that she loves elephants. That she loves elephants? Did you draw an elephant for her? How oh, great. Mm -hmm. Was that hard to do? Sort of. Yeah? And did you see it flying today? Great. Well, we're glad you're here. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the day. Mashawan Park. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm from Columbia. I'm eight years old. I'm eight turning nine. I'm nine years old. I'm ten. I'm in spring school. Um, there are spring I'm school in too. spring school too, and so is Jacqueline and Kate. Oh, this one? Was this a perfect day for my kite? This was really fun, but my kite got stuck up in a tree and it's all ripped and stuff. I was flying a kite and then mine got stuck with Kate's and now um, my handle broke off. So it's hard to fly. 
Me and Kate's also got stuck together, and mine just broke like 20 times. Mine got tangled with other people, so I can't really fly it because it got broken. Um, we're just kind of like sitting here. We're gonna play. I was playing with Kate, but now I thought I would rest. We're gonna so. get tan. Yeah, so. Did you meet any new friends? No, not at all. I did. I did. I met her. I met Lady Alyssa. And where, where are you from, and how did you meet? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm from Montauk. She's from Our Lady of the Hamptons. And we met right here to their park. I met. I met. A friend. Um, my new friend was Erica. My new friend. What school was she? Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Is she cute? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Personal. <laughs> Very I met a new friend today. His name is Sam Kessler. Why um, I have a new friend named Patty, and I don't know where he How did you meet him? Oh, about like just right now. Did, did, did he make your kite? Yeah, he made this kite. Hello. <laughs> it's a day of untying and unraveling knots. All right, Emma. You are fit to go now. A few knots in the string never hurt anybody. Okay. Stay away from the other kite. Careful. You're still flying in the air. Yeah. But how come you were the last one standing? Mm, because I felt like it. Did you have a special strategy on to keep your kite up in the air? I know how to fly kites pretty well. Who taught you that? Myself. Wow. Can you? So you are surrounded here now by a lot of kids without kites. Do you feel special? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us your kite? How did you do? I think you have a small kite, isn't it very small? It just looks small because of the altitude. Uh, and you can keep it up there without running around? No, I can I can keep it up without it. It's the wind. The oh. wind controls everything in the kite. Can we see if you run over the over the field if it still stays up there? should have been here earlier. She could explain this to many many of the other kids. I know. Maybe you can get a job here next year. Good morning, Captain TV! Good job. <laughs> <laughs>